Good morning, everybody. This is Mr. Go. Today, we're going to take a look at this IXL skill uh, for science, and it's for uh, Q.6, and it's called Use Punnett Squares to Calculate Ratios for of Offspring Types. So, uh, just like from previous ones, uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this one at a time, and then let me show you guys how to navigate through the skill. Okay. Um, Let's take a look. So in this group of bitter melon plants, some individuals have dark brown seeds and others have light brown seeds. So note that the most important thing is to understand that the allele with the dark brown seeds, capital D, is dominant over the allele with light brown seeds. So right now that we've got that, here's the Punnett square, and it's already been crossed for us. So now let's take a look at the answers that we need to give. How many boxes represent offspring with light brown seeds? Okay, well, let's go back over here at the top. If it's light brown, allele for light brown is uh, recessive in this case. It's a little d. So the only way, okay, it'll be light brown is if both of the letters have to be small case d. So which one of those? So it says there's one box right here and there's one box right there. So let's type in number two. And then it says, how many boxes represent offspring with dark brown seeds? Well, dark brown is dominant. So, and that's written to you guys right here, is dominant over the little brown, or the little D right here for light brown. So that means that there's two right here. Good. And if we just did a, you know, mental calculation on this, okay, 50% chance that the offspring for these parents right here would be light brown there's a 50% chance that the offspring for these parents right here would be dark brown. So let's click Submit. Awesome. We're doing great. It's the same uh, information from the previous problem right here. So now let's take a look over here at the question that we need to answer. It says, what is the expected ratio of offspring with light brown seeds to offspring with dark brown seeds? So the first number is light brown, and then the offspring is dark brown. Well, we already know two light brown seeds right here, two dark brown seeds right here, okay? So if it's two and then two, so that's two to two. It's this one right here. Again, it's light brown to dark brown. So first number is light brown, second number is dark brown. Awesome. Okay, so a new problem right here, okay? It says in the group of fruit flies, okay, some individuals have a gray body and others have a black body in the group. Okay, so that's awesome. The allele for the gray body is capital B, and that's dominant over the allele for black body, which is the little b. So here's the penance square between the two parents right here. Ah, okay, cool. Now, how many boxes represent the offspring for a black body? Where, in this case, in order for it to have a black body, both of the letters, the genotype has to be both letter B with a small case right here, small case B. But do you see any right there? No, you don't, okay? So that's zero. And the reason why is because this recessive allele will only show its type, okay? The phenotype for um, each one of these right here is gonna be a gray body because there's a dominant allele on each one of the boxes. The only way it'll be a black body or a phenotype will have a black body right here is if both these letters are little b's. So let's go over here. How many boxes represent with the gray body? Okay, so all four of these will have a gray body. And the reason why is because it all has a capital B right there. Click Submit. Awesome. All right, so now let's take a look at the ratio that we need to write. Same information from the previous problem. This is what is the expected ratio of offspring with a black body to offspring with a gray body? So black body to gray body. Okay, hmm, black body. Again, little b. So none of these will be a black body because they all have the dominant gene in it. So it's zero for black body to four for the gray body. So zero to four. Awesome. Now, same thing. Go ahead and complete all the challenge stages right here. Okay. And then when you take the screenshot and submit it into Jupyter, make sure that your name is visible over here on the upper right. And the title of the skill is visible as well. So then I can make sure and see that you've done the correct um, skill and that you've turned it into the correct space. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon.